Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another organizing video to share with you. Um, if you guys didn't see my last organizing video, I'll go ahead and link it above. Um, but in my last vid video, I kind of redid my whole organizing for all of my makeup, but I skipped over all of my lip products. So I didn't touch any of my glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, anything like that. I skipped over those drawers um, because I didn't really have the organizing systems yet that I wanted to use for those. So I did purchase some of them. You can probably see some of it behind me in the background here. Um, but I finally got those um, organizing systems. So I was able to finally go ahead and redo all of my lip products. So that is what you guys are going to be watching today. I hope you guys enjoy watching the, this video and I'll see you next time. Okay guys, so it's going to be really hard for me to get a good angle to show you guys. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is, um, on these two lipstick drawers, I, what I'm going to do is just pull everything out um, and then go, kind of go through it. Um, so currently I have a really weird system. I don't know how it ended up this way. It's just like I didn't know what to do with it, so I just kind of threw things in here and it just kind of stayed that way for a long time. But what I have is, I think this is an old boxy charm box or glossy box something and then there's another box inside of it this currently houses this side is all my lipsticks and then this side was just all of my like lip crayon jumbo crayons but I didn't have enough room for lipsticks so then I started sticking lipsticks over here too so it's really just kind of a, a big mess so I'm gonna pull all these out and then in that same drawer oh that's not even supposed to be in there where the heck did that come from Okay, that's weird. In that same drawer back here, I had this little tray, and originally what was on here was just these LA, um, LA Girl lip glazes, and then again, I ran out of room for lipstick, so a bunch of those got thrown here, mostly these Burt's Bees ones, which um, I just got all of those, that whole collection, so I'll pull that out as well. And then in the top drawer, you won't be able to see it all, so I'm just going to pull them out and show you. I have a bunch of different smaller containers, so I have this little box lid which had all my glosses and this clearly is not enough space for my glosses. Next to that I just had an opening where I put all of my taller uh, taller li uh, liquid lipsticks and then behind that I had these two trays side by side for smaller lip glosses and smaller liquid lipsticks um, and then some chapsticks and stuff. This actually worked pretty good for this item. Just next to those containers I had all of my um, lip pencils just kind of, they were loose but because it, there wasn't a lot of space there it was kind of contained so that's what was there. Okay and then on top I have this little um, container as well that has some of like my mini lipsticks in front and then some of my more favorite lipsticks in the back. I'm going to bring this down because I think I might want to switch this around a little bit but I'm still going to keep this container on top here. I just might change out the lipsticks that I have housed in it so we'll pull that down as well. And then before we actually start going through the lipsticks I'll show you guys. I just got these containers here, these acrylic ones from Hot Look. Um, Hot Look and they are a lot longer than I thought they were going to be and deeper. I thought they were going to be a little smaller, so I'm not sure. I originally got this thinking I would put my lip glosses and stuff in there, but now I'm not sure if I want to do that. So I'm going to pull it down though and play with it and see. And then I do also have these containers that I just got from the Dollar Tree, um, which I did film a haul for you guys about that. Um, what I'm going to try to incorporate these and some of the containers I already have to hopefully make this system work a little bit better because this is not working very good. Um, and then just like I did in my last organizing video where I did basically the rest of my collection minus the lip products, I am going to add this um, drawer liner to both of those drawers so that these different containers that I am going to be putting back in there don't slide around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first and then I will figure out what we want to do with all of this. Now that I have that done, Let's take a look at this. So I really kind of like the way the, this whole system works together. I like how they sit side by side. And um, the smaller products fit in here, but anything that's too long that doesn't fit, I don't want in there because I like it to look, I don't like the way it looks when things stick out. And then I kind of want to group them too. 
So basically what I did is I just wanted to organize these a little bit better. So I put all of the Buxom and then these NYX Butter Glosses in one. And then over here I have some Victoria's Secret, some Maybelline, so basically drugstore ones. Here's a couple L'Oreal glosses and a Beauty For Real gloss. And then this last container is all the baby size ones that I've gotten from different... Oh, this is another Beauty For Real. Is that the same color? Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the same freaking color. So I received both of these in different subscription services. I didn't even realize I have two of the exact same color. I love this color, but I don't need two of the same, so I will get rid of one of those. In this container here is like all of the mini sizes that I've gotten as like san deluxe samples and stuff. So that's what's there. I'm going to keep that how that is. And then for now, um, and then on this one, the, um, the first compartment here, this is all of my like chapsticks and um, lip treatments. And I do want to keep those where they're at. I like how those are. Um, I've gotten down to hardly any here, which I'm really happy with. And then um, these are all the liquid lipsticks. So I think I kind of like how I have it now, which is all of these tiny ones that I've, are from mostly Stila and ColourPop. They're like the um, ones that you get in the holiday kits and stuff, little baby sizes. I'll keep those in there. And then I have this little baby Kat Von D one um, in the shade Berlin. And then, yeah, so all of these, it's mostly Stila and ColourPop. I'll keep those in there. They fit perfectly. And then over here, I have more liquid lipsticks that are, they're actually full size ones that just are a little bit smaller. So I have some Ofra ones, some Sephora collection. There's another Ofra. Um, these are from the Santi line. And then the Ciate one and a couple more Sephoras. So I'll keep all of those how those are. I really like how that is. So I'll keep that that way. I have a dilemma. Like, I really, really wish I had someone here to help me with this because I'm not very good at this stuff sometimes. Um, okay, so the, my dilemma is, as I mentioned when I showed you guys this, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. So what I was thinking, I'll show you some glosses for example, was that I could do, like, glosses in here and have it be all cute. But the problem is it's so freaking big. I'd have to, like... Um, double up the glosses and I almost have to st stack them on top of each other like the product this product that I was planning to put in there is so much smaller than the container now the other thing I could do is lipsticks possibly but still I don't know I feel like that's gonna be too big for the container that might work let me try that let me try that real quick. Start with all these Burt's Bee ones because these stack up really nicely. The way that looks, but something needs to go back behind it. And I don't want to hide anything back there, you know? Hmm. What if I put these back there? That doesn't sound like a good idea, does it? Oh, that's probably not a very good idea. Ugh, I wish this container was smaller. You would think you'd want the biggest one. That's what I did is ordered the biggest one. But it's too big, so it doesn't make sense how to use it. Or like if I had some dividers here, that would be awesome, but I don't. I could just loosely throw this stuff in there. It's not going to look good. I could. Let's see what that would look like. I don't necessarily need to see those. And then I could put... I like that these are square, but I don't think I have more square. Well, I have these. These could work. I'm not doing very good on my vlogging part of this, you guys. This, this one is really hard for me for some reason. I have a really difficult time 
with getting my lipsticks organized like I just don't know what looks good I don't know a system that really works for me so I'm constantly like redoing it and then I never like how it turns out so I kind of want to put these in here so I just got a bunch of new Urban Decay lipsticks since they all went on sale these revolution ones and I kind of want to display those yeah actually you know what I do like the way this looks you guys cannot see at all um I'm trying to keep you on my tripod so I'm not shaking you all over the place and I don't want to tilt this or it'll move everything but I like the way that I can see the names of the lipsticks from here so I am going to keep it like that. So what I did is my Burt's Bees, the Victoria's Secret, and my Urban Decay's because I wanted things that I have a lot of grouped together. And then because I can't see as good, I'm going to put all of my um, lip pencils because uh, that's something I can kind of look at and know what it is. I don't need to be able to read the bottom of it. So I'm going to stick all those back there. I love these ones, by the way. These are like one of my favorite finds ever from the Dollar Tree, these Milani lip flashes. I love those. And actually, along with the lip pencils, I think I'm going to go ahead and put these back there too. So I'll do lip pencils on one side because there's room for both, and the lip glazes on the other. Okay, so this is what the drawer looks like. I like it. I think it looks good. Okay. See, I'm not super good at this, but that's okay. And then I have um, some more glosses that I found that need to go in here. All right, so that's good then. This this little guy is good. I'm gonna put this back up on my dresser. So before I get into the rest of it, so what I wanna do now is work on these lipsticks. So currently what I have is like my baby ones in the front here, and then mostly MAC, and some other various ones in here, but mostly my MAC lipsticks. So I because I have the most of MAC of anything else, I think I do wanna still keep them housed in here. Um, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this how it is. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep this how it is. I honestly, it sounds silly, but I wish that I had all MAC in here, like at least this whole row, so that the back two rows were all MAC, but I don't have enough to do that of the MAC lipsticks. I think I actually have one in my purse, but it's a use it or lose it that I'm trying to use up, so... Yeah, I'm just going to keep it how it is for now. Took you off the tripod. I'm hoping you can see better. I went ahead and put things back in this top drawer. So I put the um, smaller ones in the front this way this time before they were kind of facing this direction. I like that better. I feel like I can see them better. And then um, I did go ahead and put just the um, pencils again loose back here um, because I have the gripper down here so they won't slide around as much. And then the rest of the liquid lipsticks, the longer ones that don't fit in these containers, are back here. I don't have that many that are long, so um, pretty much just the Kat Von D and these Revlon ones, but that's what went back there. So that's the top drawer. And then this is how the acrylic drawer turned out. I really like it. So I have a lot of lipsticks on top here, not all of them, but a lot of them. And then again, behind that um, is those lip pencils and lip tars. And then on the bottom here, I put all of the rest of the glosses. The longer glosses are going to be all in here. So that means I have just this drawer left here and only these lipsticks left. So um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just put these containers, a few of these containers in there and just kind of loosely lay them in there for now. And maybe eventually I'll find a better system. All right, so this is how it ended up. What I did for this second drawer down is I used two of these um, containers from the dollar store. I put all of the drugstore lipsticks in this front one, and then back here is my high-end lipsticks. So there's not very many high-end ones in here because most of the high-end ended up um, either in here on display or in this drawer here. So there was very few high-end lipsticks left to be stored in here. So that's why it's a little bit empty, but I, I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna keep it this way, but this is um, currently how I have it. I'm sure it will evolve because <laughs> my, my collection is always changing. So um, for now, this is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, 
Oh, and by the way, this is stuff I'm getting rid of right here. This actually is old and it's starting to separate, and this is that double that I found. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today, and if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions for me, um, please make sure to leave those below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.